Ready with 2G! Hello, Budweiser, the king of beers. Reggie here, guys, and uh, I'm going to tell you a very funny story that happened to me the other day at the gas station. Um, so let's roll my intro and we'll get straight to it. All right. Funny story. Ha, ha, ha. All right. <laughs> I guess I should start the story. Um, anyway, let's get straight into it. Um, first, I'm going to do this. Um, a certain way like I'm gonna pose a question and see what you guys think and the question is Have you guys ever? Ridden when it's freaking always foggy when I do this in the morning with you guys Holy crap. Hold on a second Dry 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 wipe the mic of Lens of drifting um, no. Actually, what I wanted to ask was, have you guys ever been privy to a very awkward conversation between two people? Or argument between two people, and you're thinking it's about one thing, but it's really about something else? The reason I say this is because the other day, the other day I was at the gas station, and, um, whew, and, um, I was pumping gas, obviously, because I was at the gas station, and this couple rolled up, one in, like, a, a truck, I think it was like a Dodge Ram. That's a nicer one. And the other in like a, an older Buick, like little white car. And the guy gets out and he is clearly mad. I mean, he slams his door shut and he is yelling, you know, like, hey, I really need to go. You don't understand. I've already missed one class. I can't be affording to miss all these classes. And she and she was like, what do you know? What, what's the big deal? I don't understand. Um, you know, it's just a class, and and so you've missed one, and, and he was like, you just don't get it. I can't afford to miss these classes. You just don't understand. I can't afford to miss these classes. You could have came up here and gassed up your vehicle, and now I'm late for my class, and if I show up too late, I'll get kicked out like last time. And I was like, whoa. I mean, he was screaming on the top of his lungs. I was just there pumping gas, and I'm like, okay, I wonder where this is going. And, um... So they're yelling back and forth for a while. She keeps telling them to calm down. And finally, he's like, listen, you don't understand. If I miss any more classes, I'm going to go straight back to jail. Say what? Whoa. <laughs> this whole time, I thought he was talking about school. I figured he was, you know, taking some classes, going to community college. It's super foggy. Yeah, Jack Russell, you definitely want to stick your head back in there. And, um... He's talking about taking classes so he doesn't go to jail. And I was just taken aback, surprised. I don't know what the right word is. But I was just like, dude, really? You're going to have this whole... Why did I even do that? I made the expression of being surprised as if you guys could see it. <laughs> just like, dude, how are you having this, this yelling fit in this full parking lot with your girl and you're just, you know, yelling about going back to jail? I was like, what the heck is going on? So that leads me to, to what I wanted to ask you guys, which is, have you guys ever been, you know, maybe not in the middle of, just around when there's a couple or, or, or anybody arguing and you're thinking they're talking about something else and then you figure out what it is they're really talking about and it's just like, really? That is something, like personally, I've never been to jail. I'm, I'm so scared of getting in trouble that I do everything I possibly can to not get in trouble. So, all I could say is, is that if I was in jail and or got out or I had to take classes so I wouldn't go to jail, I wouldn't be broadcasting it all over the place. I mean, th this gas station was busy. It's like the busiest gas station around. Everyone there was just watching them argue. It's so awkward. So, like I said, just let me know if you guys have ever been in a situation like that. Leave your uh, comments down below skis, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.